4.40 a.m. That's not true, it's 5.40 a.m. I think. We're gonna go hit legs with a client named Kaylee. She's out here in Venice, so we're gonna train together. So let's get in there. One of a little bit more, so I'm doing some step ups and I'm super excited for jump squats. I'm probably gonna do like four sets and then I'm gonna go do some abs and then head home because I have a date today. What's up, guys? So, welcome to the voiceover. I want to go over some lower abs slash core movements that I utilize whenever I want to hit my lower abs. So, this is super challenging. These are hanging knee or leg raises. Unfortunately, the camera cut off my whole body, but this is the only clip I got, so sorry about that. But with these, you wanna keep contracted the entire time. You can also lean your back against that back pad and do it that way. That's more of like a beginner route, so start somewhere and build up. The second movement is a variation of a pike. So I used a rowing machine to put my feet on. You'll see a lot of people use like cloths under their feet or something slippery so that they can just use their core to bring them up. So what I'm doing is I'm not relaxing at one end, not letting my back curl, breathing in and then breathing out at the top to get my core to contract and to bring my feet inward. So with these, I did probably like 15 to 20 reps. Last movement, I did probably 10 to 20 reps. So really just start somewhere, even if it's only like five reps, then build up as you get stronger. So don't be discouraged. And then this third movement is actually really challenging. So I was using like a five to 10 pound ball. These are decline sit-ups. If you go like halfway, it's a decline crunch, but I did decline sit-ups. So this is like entire core, but certainly feel it in your lower abs and your upper abs if you have a ball. So you don't even have to use a weight. But this movement, I did probably 20 reps per set. Now on to body update. Also, while I was here, I figured I'd give you guys a quick little bod update. So yeah, this is me. I'm not mad about it. This has to be sacrificed for that. This is better. All my life, I've always had this little pouch right here. Like that's like right where everything goes the second I gain weight. So that's just me. It's how I, my body distributes for the most part, which is totally fine. I didn't have a flat stomach until I started competing. But while I'm in off season or improvement season, I'm working on building my lower abs, my upper abs, just like my core all together, core strength. Because I've never really had, even last time on stage, I definitely could have been not even more shredded, just I could have had more underneath. So that's the thing. Like if you have a lot of body fat, you're not gonna see abs. But you can still build abs with hopes that you can shred enough body fat to see them. But if you're only training your abs, even with weights or weighted exercises, doesn't mean you're gonna see them, it just means it's gonna make this a little bit bigger. Still good to develop that just like you would your shoulders, arms, back, anything. So hopefully this helps you guys out some lower ab movements. They're killer. So let me know. I'm home. Brian's not here. I'm alone. I'm gonna go see Cass. <laughs> but I've been trying to finish up some videos, some content. I have to answer a lot of emails from clients. So I need to do that. And I need to go be productive. So 
This is me ending myself up. I need to leave the house. Let's go. Change of plans. Went to a coffee shop, got my YouTube video edited, had a check-in, called my dad, and then, guys, I spilled matcha tea all over my laptop. So, it was bound to happen. I'll talk to you guys more about this situation in the car, but right now, I'm gonna go do what Father Rego suggests and get an attachable keyboard instead of just jumping right in and buying a new computer. So, pro tip, if you break your computer tab, just go get a keyboard and plug it in until you can get a new computer, which for me will probably be in the next week or so when I get back from Ohio. <laughs> this is the one. $20 wireless keyboard. Hello! I look like poop, but hello! This is the situation right now. Guys, this does not look as delicious as it is, but this is what we got. A packet of Ignormia, Better Oats, Maple Brown Sugar, and then one packet of Cinnamon Roll, and then PV2, 72% cocoa, one serving, sugar-free syrup, which is now gone, and then, because we're sick fucks, <gasps> tiny bit of this. That's what Cass has. That looks gross. What is it? It's two packets of Outfit, almond butter, blueberries, protein, and zucchini. Nice outfit. <laughs> Hello. So this is one of those videos where I'm not quite sure where I ended. I know I had the goal of showing you some lower ab workouts, exercises um, that I did that one day, but now it's several days later and I'm editing the video and I'm just not sure what we were doing. Remember, you are not gonna get lower abs by training them. It's just going to increase the muscle density there. So you, in order to see your abs, you're gonna have to get to a lower body fat. That includes diet, that includes training, that includes everything that goes along with it. So take this with a grain of salt. Feel free to do it, challenge yourself. Get some more core strength, abdominal strength, etc. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and hit the subscribe button. I post three videos, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday is a vlog, Wednesday is informational, and Friday is training related. So thank you guys so much, and I love you.